Hey everybody, that brown bat back once again for another episode of How Do You Make It? We're back here again with Stitch. In this episode, we're going, this is going to be like a part two, or a sequel to uh, Tunnels, right? Well, we're not just going to deal with Tunnels, right? We're going to deal with uh, arch blocks and uh, vaulted platforms. And if you uh, know anything about Gothic architecture, let's see. Neo Gothic, uh, anything with like arch archways. Um, you've seen things similar to this, right? Let's go one, two, three, right? Set a theme. Now I've noticed this. Let's say dungeon, right? Doesn't look too good when it's light out. Now I always like to use uh, Dunbrook. Dungeon works good too, if you get the right sky dome. Uh, same thing with brick. The brick's really red, but if you uh, change the sky to something green like Cybug or uh, the Tron, if you want to spend all the money to try to find the thing, like. I did, right? Or, um, um, what's his name there? Uh, Star Lord. Then that'll change the red to a different tone of red, which will look pretty cool. This works best in dark, dark, uh, the dark sky domes. But until I always like to build when there's light. So I'm just going to speed this up because we're not going to keep this here. And I don't want to waste the time doing this. I just want to show you the end result. Okay, something like this. I just realized the reason why I always use Dunbrook is because I can use the uh, 3x3s in the... Uh, the building set. Where is that? In the castle building set. Six. You really don't have a three by three uh, to use for dungeon texture. That's why. Anyway, whatever. That's not the point of this video. The point of the video is you see how I set all of these side by side which is fine see how I put these uh, legs in the middle the pillars in the middle that's because if you put them you know like this it takes up too much space I think it does and if you do this for every single one of them, it's hard to move. That's what I'm getting at. It's uh, hard to maneuver. And we'll take up too much space. And now I gotta get back in there. Just gonna put a window there. Well, that doesn't help, does it? Okay, that's how I would normally do it. And if you change the sky black, then it will. Uh, It'll affect the uh, the shadows and it'll look a little bit better. But here's another way. Here is another way and it will consolidate the amount that you can use. Now, if you watch my, if you want, if you, yeah, if you're a watcher of my uh, Brown Batvania series that I have going. What did I just do that for? Uh, you'll see in one of the episodes I did this. I'm not going to do it. And I vowed never to do that again with the path creator. And I set every single one of these up to a path creator to get it to merge like this. Which usually when you see gothic uh, arches, they are like this. And it just took way too much time. So I want to show you an easier way. If you watch my job of the hut, 
or Java's Palace, I think it's episode one, we ended up doing this. Where's it at? Um, buildings. I think it's under set pieces. It's either under set pieces or buildings. Where's Monsters University? The school is scary. I would take this. And the problem is, you see how big this is, right? And the problem is, you would have to put this down first. And then see what it does. It like, goes random places, right? So you'd have to put that down. Delete it. Go find your, get your uh, platform. Bring said platform over here, right where it was, then you can do it. The problem is, once you get your buildings to where, uh, once you get your building, you know, fleshed out, you can't bring that school back in because you don't have any space. So what do you do now? You you can't. I mean, you'd have to delete the whole thing and then, you know, just keep on putting a bunch of school of scarings down. Um, and then hopefully your game doesn't crash because of all the space, right? That you've wasted. So here's an easier way. M um, most of the destructive buildings in the School of Scaring, thank God it is not a destructive building. I am so glad it is not, because I think the destructive properties of buildings are stupid. But, hey, here's the thing. 1.0 buildings uh, have a weird property. So let's go to Cowboy Town there. Colby Town. They have a weird property, just like the, the School of Scaring. That's not the only one that can do that. Most of these can do it. However, most of them are big. So we want something that's small and that fits right in there no matter what. No matter what's going on. Alright, this is a little bit smaller, but it's kind of wide, right? So we find the smallest building that we have. And I think it's the Undertaker Shop. Or the wash house. You know, the Undertaker's smaller. Alright, so, it's easier to get into places where, uh... You know, if you have to delete something, you won't have to delete a lot. Now, if you're definitely inside a building, it's pretty much you're, you might not be able to fit this in there, but... Then again, you still... It could be possible. Um, it's easier to fit this in than the big ones. So, what you do, I just keep setting it down and then backing out, right? Put it wherever I might need to overlap a, uh... Vaulted platform or an arch block. Arch blocks work. Only the simple toy... What? Now what? Oh, did that last episode, huh? Um... Now we're free to put, if you remember last time I, whoop, oh, what? Ah, you know what? Got to delete that one. Now, let's do it again. See, at least I'm not deleting the whole thing. And it's better than putting a bunch of, uh, path craters down.
Okay. I'm not going to do the whole thing, but you see what I'm doing. Then put your pillars in there. And if you want to go down three, go down three. If you want to go down two, go down two, one, whatever. Depending on how uh, tall you want your ceiling. I think the taller the ceiling, the better, but that's just me. Now, if I'm doing a sewer or a basement, then I'm going to probably just use one block or none. I'm, I might use this is the actual base or I might just uh, do this and make it really short unfortunately we don't have a lot of uh, they don't give us a lot of free space in the toy boxes that's the gist of it. You just fill the rest of it in, you know. However you want it, that's how you do it. That's better than using the path creators. And that's how you make it. Thanks everyone for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, smash that like button. And guess what? There's even more. Click on any of these boxes to view more awesome stuff. And don't forget to click that big subscribe button so you can be notified of all my upcoming videos. And again, I want to thank you for watching. This has been Matt Brown Bat signing off.